Hello, you too. <laughs> Welcome back to another exciting cooking with Dinoy episode. All right, we're actually in the RV on my first um, mostly functional test. The RV currently, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background. That is the generator uh, pumping electricity through the system. And I've got it right now cooking rice. Um, at 300 watts and I think it's about 1800 watts so that'll give me 2100 watts I'm gonna try to heat up my the last bit of my leftover um, red curry so the plan is to have red curry with rice today and this is frozen solid from work I'm gonna try to cut it here I, I have it frozen from work but I'm planning on um, I'm planning on trying to um, basically thaw it out here. Not thaw it out, but um, heat it up using the rice cooker. Not the rice cooker, but the... I guess the, the pan, the pot there. Having to mutilate this, uh, this bag here to get this out. But it's alright. I'm going to be reused anyways. So, I'm putting this in here. I can thaw all this out. All right, that was hard. Okay, so I kind of made a mess. That's all right. A little piece of green here. And what we're gonna do is uh, turn on the, the heating unit here. Hopefully the fuse doesn't blow. The circuit breaker doesn't blow on the, um, the generator. So basically I have, I have the rice cooking right now at 300 watts. I'm gonna turn this guy on, okay. And I don't know if you can hear the generator has some pull on it. The generator started buzzing a little bit. I'm trying to put it on max right now. And so far it hasn't blown anything. So everything is still working, which is good. And what we're going to do is put a lid on it. Seal that heat in there. Let me clean this lid a little bit. Basically, we are going to thaw out the um, thaw out and heat up the red curry, and have that with white rice. Nice hot dinner or lunch, late lunch, more like a late lunch. So it's like eating at a, a fancy Thai restaurant. Usually, the smoke coming from that thing. Yeah, it's thawing out right now. I get on maximum. I wonder if I should turn it down a little. It's like burning it and not thawing it. You can start to hear it sizzle now. It's starting to thaw out. I'm gonna put the little air vent thingy. Look how hot that is getting. It's getting really red. Red hot. All right. So we're able to cook rice and the side meal at the same time. I know it's not that exciting for most of you who, who can cook on a regular basis, but um, this is all still a test for me to see how well the RV is functioning as far as um, being able to power itself through the generator. The air conditioner is off right now. It's like 65 degrees outside today, 67 degrees outside in Florida, so I don't need the air conditioner on. But I could turn the air conditioner on, but then I couldn't run both of these um, devices because they have a lot of electrical draw. So that's one thing you have to be aware of when you're uh, making your own electricity is how many watts you're generating, how many watts you're using. That's just one of the things you have to be deal with. And I know this rice cooker uses about 300. This thing uses upwards of 11 or 1200, maybe even 1800 watts. So that's like 2100 watts right there. But my generator would generate uh, up to 2800 watts. It says that it operating is about 2600. That means the generator can power both of these devices without too many issues. And so far that seems to be holding true. So what we're doing is just gonna heat up the rice, heat up the, um, red curry and that's that's gonna be dinner you know it's not that um 
Not that bad. And it's actually a pretty good dinner. This is that, that red pork red curry that I made. Gosh, it's been like more than a month ago. I made this curry when I still had access to electricity from the RV park. And I froze the curry at work and um, kept it there frozen. So it's been frozen now for almost two months. And that means we're now out of curry. But the fact that I have electricity and can make curry and stuff means that um, I could potentially buy some meat and curry and some other stuff and pre-make the stuff. But then I have to freeze it at work again. And that would mean making it on a Sunday night, storing it in a refrigerated environment, you know, with with um, ice and stuff to keep it packed cold and then the next day freezing it at work when I take it in and I'd have to limit how many bags I can do but but basically if I did it I would I would try to have about four to five or six bags that I could freeze and that way I can eat it for lunch and continue to bring it back and have it because I love this curry um, it's you know one of the more involved things that I make because it's got the meat it's got the vegetables it's got the curry sauce you got to cook all this stuff in advance and Although I, I make um, the vegetables and stuff, I get the pre-cut ones. So that's not too bad. But we'll probably do this again because I love curry. And um, it does take a while to prep it. But once you make it and you freeze it, it's just a matter of heating it up. So I'm going to try to stir it up here and get it to heat up a little bit evenly. You can see it is basically thawing out. Look at that. I can smell the curry. It smells so good. So looking forward to this meal. The rice is bubbling over. And the rice cooker is really amazing because when the rice is done, it it goes into warm mode and it does that by I think there's a temperature sensor when it gets to a certain temperature it knows that the water has evaporated and as far as this I have it on maximum so it should be heating up pretty fast so we're gonna go ahead and pause now and come back later when the food is done so stay tuned all right the rice cooker has popped up to warm mode that means it is pretty much done at this point it won't go back down because it, it knows that when it's that hot, the food is pretty much done. I think I might have used a little too much water. It's all right. Just stir it up, let it continue to evaporate. You can't really overcook rice because if you leave the, the heat on and let it evaporate, the rice will shrink back down. So I added a little bit too much water. But it's all right. It will, um, it will continue to steam and evaporate and shrink down a little bit. So, we'll leave it on warm mode. Now all we're doing is just waiting for the red curry to thaw out. There you go. It is thawing out. I think I can help it by scooping the, the liquid part onto the solid part still. This is some good stuff. Mmm. Goodness. So it's almost completely thawed out now. I'm going to let it bubble up a little bit. There we go. Nothing like Thai red curry and white rice. So probably about three more minutes, five minutes, three minutes of heating up and it should be done. I think it is time to serve 
the rice. So, just gonna scoop up some of this rice. Look at that. Doesn't that rice look good? It's like perfectly cooked. Oops. And uh, my little assistant there. Actually, I'm going to put the rice in the center because. We're gonna put the um, the sauce right on top of the rice. Now, what I'm gonna do actually at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the whole system down. So I'm pretty sure the, the thing is done. So we're gonna turn that off, and we're gonna turn off our, our switch here. You can't see it, but I am switching off the um, the rice cooker and the the unit here. Now to conserve electricity or to conserve gasoline, I am gonna go ahead and turn off the generator. So let me do that. I have shut off the generator. It should be a lot quieter. We are essentially saving um, gasoline at this point. And what I'm going to do is just scoop this up and, and just pour it right on here. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. This is such a pretty dish. Look how pretty it looks. I just pour it right on here. That curry sauce, it's got a hint of sweetness, sourness, and coconuts. Look at that. Doesn't that look so pretty? What I love about this meal is that it um, not only tastes good, it looks great. It's a beautiful dish. Look at that. All that pork. Man. I'm eating like a king tonight. Okay. It's got um, bamboo in it, carrots, um, beans, broccoli. Is it broccoli? Yeah. And um, some corn. I, I took like the the frozen the frozen vegetables that they sell. You know, they sell the frozen vegetables in the bag, and that's what I used. I think. Let's try out the food.